Yo, what is up guys, JD0 bringing you some Pokemon expansion. Just just playing some Pokemon. Um You know as this camera would focus, um basically I have a new camera and I'm but that's that's not the point. I have a new camera, but that's not the point. Well, because I have a new phone. So, since I'm recording on my new phone, I kind of had a problem, like the other day. And it's for the Pokemon movie. It's the uh, new Power of Us Pokemon movie. So I missed like, like, Probably like half, half of the movie. Probably like at least 30 minutes of the movie. Um, you gotta be sitting there like, why have you like missed 30 minutes of the movie? Well, see here's the thing. Um, what was it? Oh yes, apparently, so it's been a while since I went to the movies and, uh, oh shoot, there's a farfetch. Since I basically barely go to the movies, right, and I have not been to a cinema theater in a while. But Cinemark has told me, or well, the people at Cinemark has told me, that, let me try to catch this, um, basically, they had a new bag policy. I didn't even know they had a new bag policy, but they had a new bag policy. It's kind of weird. The fact that they now have this new bag policy. Like, I understand, like, checking the bags, making sure there's nothing in it, because I also work at a movie theater. But, the bag policy tells you what, like, how big of a bag you're supposed to have to actually let you go through. Now, I respect that. I respect that, and so many levels are respecting that. But the fact that you can't check the bag to make sure if there was any actual bad, you know, anything that's weapon or whatever in set bag kind of pisses me off, you know? You know, at least allow me to, like, just at least make sure that I don't have any weapons or anything like that. Why not go ahead and do so? But no, it wasn't anything like that. You just like, oh, yeah, sorry, you can't bring your bag in here. So, one, for me, I don't have a car. I can't fit the bag anywhere. Lucky, I had some friends that could be able to say, hey, I got you. They come by, grab the bag. So, I'm just sitting out here for like a good... 30 minutes waiting because apparently I can't have my bag even though they didn't have any weapons. They had like these in there but you know I didn't have anything that's worth the trouble for them to you know say hey maybe you shouldn't have the uh, set, you know, the big bag, because you only have to have like a small bag between like a uh, like a purse, a um, tofu bag, somewhere between like that size, like a messenger bag. You only supposed to have like that 
particular size bag. Not like a full backpack, per se. But there's been a couple of times when I've seen like, oh, there's probably been like at least one customer that had a bag, but this is like, okay, this is for our child, whatever. But are they gonna really let her in with the bag? They did, so. Something I can do about that. But even though a lot of people say like, oh, well, yeah, you could try to argue that because it's like, okay, well, what? You know, she's not a worker there, therefore she can't bring in her, you know, bring in that bag, even if it is for the child, right? Oh, I, it sounds like it's something that she can get away with. But, again, I wasted 30 minutes. My friends were able to watch the movie. I wasn't able to watch the movie. Kind of pissed me off, honestly. I'll tell you the truth. And it's like the another thing that was an issue was knowing the fact that the managers and the coworkers know that the fact that the movie that I'm trying to watch is only one showing for the movie. And they're right, asking me to get a different show type. I'm like, I can't get a different show type. I can't fit the bag anywhere. Therefore, you're telling me I can't watch this Pokemon movie because there's only one show time? Only one show time. Nonetheless, starts at 7 o'clock. One show time. Can I watch the movie? Pisses me the fuck off. Sorry for the language, but it did. It really did. Very irritating. Um, but yeah, I just had that whole entire issue with, oh, you can't watch the movie because you have a big bag. Yeah, because it's our policy. Now, I, I kind of don't want them to do that for our theater, but if it gets to that point where it gets it to our theater and our theater has to do this policy where okay well one you can't have big bags two you know like how this between this size bag it would reduces the issue that we do have lately about people having such big bags regardless but it just like it's one of those things where it's like, man. Oh, must be God. Um, but yeah, it just it was just like pissed me off. Let us just say that it it will generally piss me off, but then it'll be like, well, it makes it easier to not have to look at a bag, check the bag because you know you don't have a big bag. I mean, it's like plus, but it, it's generally not a plus. Because it's like I have to deal with that. And I'm usually the one who needs to have a bag per se. Because of, okay, I need food. I don't have like anything else to carry. Type of stuff like that. Huh. Um, yeah. Again, some sort of stuff like that kind of like just drags on and kind of like really irritates. Um, yeah, I've just been like really like completely annoyed that day that I went to go watch it. But it's like, I don't like see this person says, How's the squirrel doing? And you got his big blastoids here. That's your squirtle right there. Your squirtle is the big blastoids. What are you talking about? It's like right there for your face. But yeah, it's again like, because now I'm starting to ramble on, but it's just like, it turns out this video is kind of a more of a rent video, but it's like, 
it's like a logical rant video. I'm pretty sure someone has made a video on this topic because it is like kind of like annoying in such a way that it's like, why? You know, why make this a thing? And when has it ever been a thing? But apparently, it has been a thing since September, apparently, because they just got it established in September that, oh, you can't have a big bag. So, therefore. Anyway. So now I'm in a situation where if I want to go watch a movie at a Cinemark Theater, I can't bring a bag. I can't bring a big bag. I have to try to see if I can find like another messenger bag. Because all my other messenger bags are kind of like rare, you know, tearing rare. I might have to find one at the Anime Expo when I go to the Anime Expo, because I did buy my tickets to the Anime Expo, so... There's a chance I might get another bag from there. So if anybody's going to the Anime Expo, dope to see you there. Uh, it was cool. I also met one of my fans there. Uh, I mean, I met one of my friends that yesterday. Yo, dude. I met one of my friends, my fans, there at the at the movies too so if you're going to the anime expo that's dope um but yeah i was just like again kind of like pissed they could tell i was kind of pissed too but again it's one of those things where i don't understand like it's like i understand but i don't understand you can check my bag. That's why there's bag checking. You can check my bag if I have any weapons. You're good, yo. yo. That means I can't come in, yo. If I had any food, I couldn't come in. If I generally have that point where the only way I won't be able to have this bag with me at this moment in time because you checked my bag. But again, I get it. It works the way it works, where it makes sense for the employees to make sure that everybody's safe. Put that there to uh, stabilize the safety and ruling of everything. So I get it. Again. That's another thing where I'm saying, like, at my job, if it comes down to it, they might put that policy in at my job. So if you guys do carry big bags, you won't be carrying big bags anymore. I know, like, a lot of uh, kids who get off of school, they carry a lot of big bags to get, like, snacks from 7-Eleven or something like that. And, and they do come to our theater, so... And sometimes we need to like, okay, well, we do check bags. Sometimes we say, okay, well, it's snacks. It's not food, it's snacks. We really don't care if you bring in this set snacks because one, it's snacks. And I know sure and well, you don't want to pay for all the candy that we have at our theaters. I get it. Bring your snacks because that's saving you money. And just less to have to deal with coming to concessions to buy snacks when you kind of don't like our snacks or the fact that our snacks are too expensive. I get it. Um, then there's the factor of, well, you know, you can do so much and you can do so much little. All right, just to help out the concession side, maybe you should buy your snacks. And that kind of like reduces the line for like a busy day. Like our $5 Tuesdays. Um, where all our movies are $5 on Tuesdays. Throughout the day. And night. 
Um, since we have like days like that, it does get packed on a regular. So if you want to, you know, bring some stuff out like that, like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a busy day. Maybe I should grab a few snacks before heading to this theater because I know it's going to be busy because it's a Tuesday and there's going to be a line for popcorn, snacks, stuff like that, chips. Well, not chips, but nachos, hot dogs, and other stuff like that. I might as well bring in my snacks because there's only one concession stand and they can handle a certain amount of people as fast as they can handle. And they only, see, that's, that's another thing where a lot of customers have issue with, where we're not moving fast enough. It's that us who don't have, you know, the fast to get everybody out and done. It's if we wait for you as the customer to decide what you want. And then we have to grab it and make it for you and then go through the whole purchase thing. So it's like sometimes we could take one out real quick is because they were already know what they wanted. They already know exactly what they wanted. They know they wanted a jumbo size popcorn that has the refill, the free refill. They know the fact that the large popcorn doesn't have a refill and they know their combos. They know exactly what to do. They know exactly how to do it and they do it so they can just get in and get out. Most customers can't do that. So when it taught, when it came down to where, oh, us as the workers who's in concessions, you say that we're slow. We're not slow. We're just waiting for you guys to tell us what we need to get. And you finally decided on what the food. Most people don't just, are still kind of like iffy on what they want when they're in the line. So, to better help that situation out, maybe you should buy food beforehand. Maybe you should eat food beforehand. And then, coming to the theater, you don't have to be in the line. You can go straight to your movie. But again, it is what it is. I'm not really complaining about it. I'm just trying to help you as a customer out and help the co-workers there out especially me who usually does help out there uh but yeah something that a good wisdom or knowledge that you guys need to know tips that you need to know when dealing with that and it's a, it is a rent video it's it's one of those things where I, that i need to like talk to you guys about and deal with this situation that usually does happen mostly daily that's why i don't like to like try to you know be bothered with it but it's like a lot of people tell me like oh hey you shouldn't worry about some of the stuff that the customers do but it's like you don't understand this is a daily thing it might not be just the same customer, but it happens way too frequently this to be just one customer who did it. It's like we need to like basically have like a video of how many customers did the exact same thing over and over again. So another customer doesn't do the same mistake, basically. It's, it's one of those type of deals where I feel like that's the case with things. <clears throat> Do I really need to hyper train? I don't think. Yeah, I don't think I need to hyper train that. Uh, okay, so I need that to be at level 100. So, uh, but yeah, like I said, it's against one of those things where I'm kind of upset about for the most part. But it's not like I'm too mad, but I'm mad regardless. I, 
I feel like they could have did a better job. You know, it's one of those things where it's like, oh, yeah, I could have did a better job, blah, 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 blah. This is this could have, whoa, Green, what are you doing here? Is she still throwing Pokeballs at me? Uh, okay, we're about to battle Green. But, you know, yeah, like I said, it's one of those things, it's, it's one of those things where I'm mad. I'm not as mad, but I'm mad. And I feel like I'm mad for the good reasons of being mad. Because I could have avoided all of that if they would have checked my bag. But then I feel like, man, I wish I didn't have my bag with me at the time. So I could be able to watch a movie that I paid for that's only showing one time before it has been released into a website or on TV or something, you know? Something like that, you know? And that's where it kind of like, where I still feel like I'm mad and triggered by the situation that it happened. But, again, I guess it, it's one of those things where I can be mad all I want, but at least I was able to see the movie. Even though it was 30 minutes into the movie where I didn't get to see the beginning. But I kind of get the concept of what happened in the beginning because those trailers do show like what most of it is in the beginning. But, you know, I really have a full experience the watching from the beginning. But I won't be able to see that movie into it again. It was hit to a TV, like get on Cartoon Network, show up on Cartoon Network, or show up. I forgot, Cartoon Network doesn't have the rights to Pokemon anymore, and it's on uh, Disney, so I'll have to wait until Disney put up the movie, you know, put it on Disney XD. I have to wait until they put it on there or something like that. Or wait till it hits to a website, the English dub, wait till the English dub hits on websites, or it hits on the app that I use to watch the to watch movies so that's the thing that's 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 the only thing that I'm kind of like now concerned about is like okay I just gotta wait for the movie to come out so I can at least see it on that platform so I can see what happened in the beginning of the movie and uh, once I'm done I'll be like okay I officially watched the movie for a full time but again like I said, not too upset. I'm mad, but I'm not too upset. It's just the whole wasting of my time, though. It's really like pisses me off. You know, it's such a level. Uh, the, we're gonna still try to. Like I said, um, just wanted to get that out there. Just wanted to like really, uh do this, you know, make a video, try to get this, this word out about stuff, try to like, you know, clear some stuff up for us as customers, as workers at the theater, because I never really had an issue as a customer when it comes to the movies or the movie theater, you know, well, Towards the movie theater, I never really had an issue with the movie theater, but I do kind of have that situation where I do uh, judge a little bit when it comes to other customers. Now, you're gonna be like, oh, what do you mean? Well, I do judge customers, but I judge customers in a meaningful way where it's not like, uh, I'm not trying to say that you guys don't know it, but clearly most of you guys don't know it. That's why I'm saying like there's some customers who already know what they want as to getting food and whatnot, and they can get in and get out. There's other customers who don't know what they want or they get the wrong food because they don't read or pay attention to the menu that's in front of them that's pretty much either on the screen and we have like a huge ass screen 
So it's like the fact that we have a huge screen and you're close enough to see the screen to see the items there. That's where it's like, okay, what if someone else could get that and you can't get that, but you're not alone, you're with a group of people trying to get the food and they can't help you. That says a lot, you know, and it just makes it more stressful for us as co-workers who we have to specifically tell you, okay, this is this, this is that, when it's all right there. Uh, but it's not, again, it's not all bad because we do try to at least help out. We It's nothing wrong for us to not help out. We do help out. We start to get to the point where, okay, what can we do as coworkers to use our best customer service to help you out and try to get stuff across so you can understand that in such a way. Um, like, by helping, like, you to understand, like, Okay, again, jumbo size popcorn is the refill. It's a dollar or more. They fill up the same amount, but you get an extra fill when you come back for that one refill for the jumbo size popcorn. That's what makes it a little bit bigger than the, you know, the large. That's why that one has a refill. Uh, then you have to understand that the one, the large popcorn is in the yellow bag, the jumbo size popcorn is in a bucket. Uh, we do have, we do have, uh, what is it called? We do have the, the, the actual models of the popcorn in the, uh, the, uh, what you call it? You do have like the metal of the popcorn in the, uh, the models of the popcorn, like right on top of the popcorn machine, basically. So we have a small with the with the writing on the popcorn, like oh, it's like a piece of white paper. Have the writing on there, and it's pasted on the the bags itself, so it can tell you exactly what the small looks like, what the medium looks like, what's the large, and what's the double size. Again, there are customers who don't pay attention to that. They don't see that. And that's where it's like, okay. It's in big red writing. I don't know how you can see it. I can't see it. I mean, it'll, it's likely to say that you might need to get your eyes checked. But I don't want to do that. But again, it's one of those things where it's like, okay. What can we do here per se? That would basically help out the situation, right? And to help out the situation, it's like, it's kind of like either trigger thing, but it's that, oh, she took her balls with her. I thought she would have like, at least leave her balls right there, I guess. Okay, that's interesting. But yeah, uh, like I said, it's one of those things where you have to understand that we're not trying to judge you, but you're you're making it hard for us to not judge you, right? So for you to not be in that situation, maybe you should just go ahead and uh, basically just know what you want beforehand so no one can judge you. And yeah, we do have that issue where we do do talk under our, you know, it's like, again, it's like one of those things where it's like, we can't be mad at you, we can't, well, we could be mad at you, but we can't show the fact that we were mad at you. But it, it is one of those things where it does kind of piss a lot of people off. So, if you guys, 
enjoy my rent a little bit and all that nonsense that I talk to you guys about and the theaters and how most theaters work just all my advice is just 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 go yo know, look you know just actually pay attention to the signs the because there's no reason for you as a customer to yell at a coworker because you think you're right when it's like right there in front of your face. Uh, there's also that, you know, just, 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 just do that, you know, just read the signs. You make it a lot, lot you make it a lot much easier on us as coworkers and us as, and for you as a customer, it makes it a lot of a whole lot easier if you understand that concept to wait, let me look. Okay, okay, this is what I actually wanted at this time. This is what I want here, here, and there, and there. Even if the food is expensive, that's, that's that, yo. Know. And then we can move along. Make it much easier for us to do our jobs to help you. Because if you can't do that, then we're just going to keep fighting and we keep doing a lot more worse than actually making you have a great time, making us have a great time, and all that nonsense. See you guys. Bye.